Coming up next on In the City, the Murfreesboro Fire and Rescue Department are gathering toys for needy families. Then the Murfreesboro Police Department is also getting into the holiday spirit by gathering food for needy families. Also, we give a breakdown of the benefits to our city when you shop locally this holiday season. And finally, turkey safety and cooking with the Murfreesboro Fire and Rescue Department. All this and more coming up on In the City. And welcome to another edition of In the City, your source for what's happening here in the city of Murfreesboro. I'm your host, Fadia Patterson. The Murfreesboro Fire and Rescue Department is asking for your help to bring a smile on a child's face this Christmas. The department is involved in the Toys for Tots program and want to share how you can get involved in this worthy cause. Uh, the Toys for Tots program actually started in 1947. Uh, we picked up the program in 1983. Actually, Miss Rose Yost with the Rutherford County March of Dimes uh, start, uh, started that program and it integrated into the Toys for Tots program and we've been involved with it ever, ever since that year. I've been involved with the Toys for Tots program uh, several different times throughout, throughout my career here at the department and it's, it's always a good feeling to, to be able to, to, to see the face of a child or to see the parents that know, you know, Christmas is going to be good for, for their children. Um, you know, sometimes the economy is still hard, uh, it's still tough for a lot of people and it, this is the way that we give back and what better, know, what better way to, to do that than, than around Christmas time. Um, it's just, it's, it's just, it makes you feel good on the inside to be able to see you help your fellow citizens, the people that you're working for anyway. In 2004, the Rutherford County Home Builders Association uh, began to help Murfreesboro Fire and Rescue with the Toys for Tots program. Uh, what the Toys for Tots program is requesting is that you drop off a new unwrapped toy at any of the drop-off locations that you see around the city or any Murfreesboro Fire and Rescue stations at uh, pilot centers, World Outreach Church, Community Healthcare, Swanson's, Mount Moriah Masonic Temple, Cumberland Presbyterian Church, Bumpus Harley-Davidson, Affordable Concrete, Hooters Restaurant, Publix Groceries, Skill Construction, Patco Fire Safety, and we've had several individuals help as well, such as uh, Bobby Kirby, Carl Robertson, and Billy Womack, as well as any uh, Murfreesboro Fire and Rescue Department station. I think we can all look around and, and see that there are, there's always somebody uh, with needs that need to be met that we can help with, no matter how big, no matter how small, there's something that we can do. And even if it means, you know, buying, buying a, just a, a, one toy for one child, you know, can you imagine the difference that it would make for that one child on Christmas morning to know that, that they had uh, gifts for them? Uh, so, we, you know, we're asking every, everyone to help as, as, as much as you feel led to, to, to help. The Murfreesboro Police Department is also in the giving spirit with their own Feed the Families program. Amy Norville explains why this program is different from other food programs. Feed the Families is a, it's a food drive that we do here, here at the Police Department. Most of the contributions come from our officers and our um, other employees. Last year, um, all donations came from Murfreesboro Police Department employees and we had a Girl Scout troop that brought um, quite a bit of food and they helped sort and pack the boxes and uh, followed along with us and helped deliver also as one of their service projects. Um, what we do is we try to find families, um, elderly, single parents, complete families, whoever um, that need help that are falling through the cracks of other programs basically. Um, our patrol officers and those of us in the schools, we see needs um, that are there that like I said, doesn't, don't fit other programs. Um, and we just take the opportunity of, you know, the, the winter time and Christmas season and try to give back, try to be a, a, a hand up instead of just a handout. Um, a lot of our recipients are too busy working and trying to make ends meet to go stand in line for regular giveaways. 
Um, and like I said, a lot of our names come from our patrol officers who run into these families um, in a bad moment. Um, some of them are, are too proud to ask for help. You know, we're not going to turn any contributions away because those that need it, we'll get it to them. Uh, last year we were fortunate enough to uh, deliver to approximately 20 households and still had things left. We took um, about four or five boxes of food. Uh, we took some to uh, Journey Home and we took some to the Salvation Army. So this year if we have any left, it'll go to Room in the Inn um, and then we'll probably contact churches and see who is uh, doing sheltering for um, domestic violence or homeless sheltering, things like that, and try to help them out too because they're also part of our community. We've already started uh, taking contributions um, and we will deliver on uh, December 20th. So anything between now and then, um, we have some officers that just give us money or give us uh, gift cards, uh, myself, and usually another one of the DARE officers will go to the store and buy things um, to fill in any gaps in the boxes um, so that everybody gets kind of a rounded out selection of food just in case of you know food allergies or things like that that way they still get something that they can use. Some of our families like I said a lot of them are working families that are struggling just to make it. Um, a lot of them don't know we're coming when we show up. Um, we just knock on the door and there's a police car out front they open the door and we just say hey we heard you could use some help where can we sit this box of food? So, you know, some of them we set it on the porch and some of them have us bring it all the way in the kitchen. Um, we had a lady one year ask if we could put it up in the cabinets for her. <laughs> uh, we don't go that far, but um, you know, it's, it's very rewarding. Um, sometimes uh, we take stuffed animals with us. If there's small children there, we, you know, give out stuffed animals along with the food. And, you know, for the small kids, it lets them see that officers are there to help you. Um, we're not just about you know, being the scary person when, when there's a bad guy around um, that, that we care and that we want to make things better. If you'd like to make a donation to this program, you can come by the Murfreesboro Police Annex at 324 South Church Street or call Officer Amy Norville at 895-3874. Rita Shacklett, director of the Linebaugh Public Library, tells us about some upcoming events and programs in December you definitely don't want to miss. Hello, I'm Rita Shacklett. We here at Lineball Library would like to wish you a happy holiday season. Lineball Library is located at 105 West Vine Street. Our hours of operation are Monday through Thursday, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., Friday and Saturday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., and Sundays from 1 to 6 p.m. Here are some upcoming events at the library that you and your family can enjoy this holiday season. The Rutherford Writers, Inc. will meet on Saturday, December 1st and December 15th at 10 a.m. in the boardroom on the second floor of the Lineball Public Library. All writers looking for help and insights into writing are invited to join. Have a Nook, Kindle, or other e-reader device? Did you know that you can check out free e-books from the Public Library? Reads, Tennessee's regional e-book and audiobook download system has a wide selection of more than 25,000 e-books and audiobooks to choose from. Check out the Reads site or stop by one of our branches for more information on how to start downloading free books. It's as simple as getting a free library card, logging onto the Reads website, and getting your free books. And no late fees. Monday, December 3rd, from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m., local author James Byers will be selling and signing his books at Lineball. His works include The Apostle John, A Blessed Life, and Hope of Heaven, Expectations and Descriptions. Lineball Library is currently seeking volunteer computer class instructors for the upcoming winter season. Please contact Pete Wood or David Case for more information. The Genealogy Group will not be meeting in December. The Women for Peace and Justice Book Group will not be meeting in December. The Science Fiction and Fantasy Book Club will not be meeting in December. December meeting dates and selections are as follows. The Afternoon Book Club will meet on Thursday, December 6th at 2 p.m. to discuss 
Bend in the Road by Nicholas Sparks. Murfreesboro Parks and Recreation Department will present a craft workshop for children ages 8 to 12 in the children's area on Saturday, December 8th from 10.30 a.m. until noon. Due to space and materials, the workshop is limited to 12 participants. The Dance Theater of Tennessee will present the Nutcracker Storytime. Join us on December 7th at 4 p.m. in the children's area for a magical story time that includes excerpts from this well-loved ballet. Join us for story time at MGL at 9 and 9.30 a.m. each Tuesday and 10 a.m. each Wednesday for preschool aged children. Activities include storytelling, music, and more. GED classes are offered every Tuesday and Thursday from 6 to 8 p.m. The Scholastic Book Fair will be back at Smyrna Library from November 24th through December 1st. Smyrna's team programming for December will be Flux to be held at 2.30 p.m. on December 8th. One deck, 84 cards, endless possibilities. For more information about events at the library, please visit our website at lineball.org and follow us on Twitter at L-I-N-E Library. With the holiday shopping season in full gear, it seems more and more people in Murfreesboro are staying here to buy gifts than in past times. Here's a breakdown of the benefits to the city when people decide to stay in Murfreesboro to shop. Rutherford County's um, in a unique position where we draw from, or our, our retail market draws from 10 surrounding counties. Um, in the past 10 years, of, uh, as you alluded to, um, our retail sales have uh, grown by over $900 million. We encourage our residents to shop locally at this holiday season. Uh, there's a couple reasons for that. Number one is it, it supports our local business community. Uh, these are people who have invested in Murfreesboro, invested in Rutherford County. Uh, they're providing jobs and uh, making a livelihood for their families. So we certainly want to continue to support our, our local business people. Uh, secondly, um, in Tennessee, sales tax is a very important source of revenue. Uh, so when you do shop locally, uh, you'll be charged a sales tax and that sales tax goes to fund first our education system. Uh, the county school and city school system uh, receive a portion of those sales tax proceeds. The, the second benefit is that it generates sales tax revenues. Uh, in Tennessee, uh, sales tax is uh, collected and the first half of that sales tax goes to fund education. So by law, the first half of that goes to help pay for our county school system and our city school system. Uh, the second half of that money goes to the city for the general fund. So those sales tax revenues uh, provide funding for our police department, our fire and rescue department, and all the other uh, departments of the city. Uh, it's our second largest source of revenue, so as our sales taxes continue to increase, that relieves pressure on the property tax uh, and helps us to continue to provide great services to our residents. Diversity in places to shop, unlike times in the past, has been another factor in keeping shoppers here. As our community has continued to grow and our population has increased, uh, it's enabled us to attract a lot more retailers. Uh, in the past, uh, many of our residents would go to Hickory Hollow or Cool Springs uh, for shopping. Uh, but right now we see uh, kind of the opposite. We see our local folks staying home to shop and then we see people from some of the outlying counties come into Murfreesboro to shop. So that's, that's great for our businesses, it's great for our community. The bottom line is shopping locally has a big impact on our city. We at the Chamber you know, definitely uh, want to encourage people to you know, shop locally, um, keep those dollars here. It doesn't help us. Um, doesn't help out our community if, if we go over to Williamson or Wilson or Davidson counties and spend our money. If you work here, live here, invest here. Becky Johnson, the Parks and Recreation Department's Marketing and Special Events Coordinator, stopped by to talk about some great activities coming up. Becky? Hi, I'm Becky Johnson with the Murfreesboro Parks and Recreation Department. We have parks, greenways, and facilities all across the city with lots to offer. Here are some programs and events for you and your family. Sunshine Player Productions. Our 24th season, Just a Little Christmas. Production dates are November 30th through December 2nd. A Christmas Carol will be held December 14th through the 16th. Tickets will go on sale two weeks prior to a production. Shows are $7.50 for adults, $6 for seniors and youth, and $3 for Sunshine Player members. Tickets may be purchased at Sportscom, Patterson Park, or the Barfield Main Office up until the run of the show, where then they must be purchased at the box office. Audience members must be at least four years old to attend our shows. For more information, 
Contact Terry Ann Womack at 615-867-7244. Christmas at Cannonsburg. Christmas at Cannonsburg will be held Friday and Saturday, December 7th and 8th from 6 to 9 p.m. at Cannonsburg Village. The village will be lit with lights and activities will include hot apple cider brewed over an open fire, a hayride, Murfreesboro City Schools will be performing music in the gazebo, and there will also be pictures made with Santa in the Lehman House. Free for all ages at Cannonsburg. For more information, contact 615-890-0355. Holiday Lock-In. Join us for a fun-filled night at Sportscom as we have an overnight lock-in where you will be able to swim, play all sorts of games, and also be the star of American Idol if you wish. For boys and girls ages 8 through 15, the lock-in will be held Friday, December 14th to Saturday, December 15th from 7 o'clock p.m. to 7 o'clock a.m. The fee is $20. Registration starts Monday, December 3rd by calling Sportscom at 615-895-5040. The event is limited to 40 kids. Santa's Splash and Dash. Come join the lifeguards at the pool for water-based Christmas cheer activities while parents get some last minute shopping in. Pizza, dessert, fun and games will all be provided. The featured art and craft can be a keepsake each parent will cherish for years to come. Santa Splash and Dash will be a good time for all who attend. The Splash and Dash is for ages 7 through 13 on Friday, December 21st from 6 o'clock to 10 o'clock p.m. at the Patterson Park Pool. The fee is $5 for those who pre-register and $7 the day of. Pre-registration is strongly encouraged. For more information, contact Kyle Goss at 615-893-7439. Polar Bear Plunge. There is not a better way to ring in the new year than plunging into Sportscom's frigid outdoor pool the first Saturday in January. Participants of the 10th annual Polar Bear Plunge are encouraged to bring non-perishable foods to benefit a local charity to partake in the plunge. At 8.30 a.m., the Sportscom Gym will once again be transformed into an Arctic adventure for families to play games, play on inflatables, drink coffee or hot chocolate, eat donuts, and register for the plunge. At 10 o'clock a.m., plungers and spectators will make their way to the outdoor pool to take the plunge. For more information, contact Nikki Hensley at 615-895-5040. For more information about these events and programs, please pick up our Rec Connection Program Guide, which may be found at any of our facilities, or visit us at murfreesborotn.gov parks to download a copy. For other information or general questions, call us at 615-890-5333. Murfreesboro Parks and Recreation Department, dedicated to enhancing your quality of life. Members of the Fire and Rescue Department are sharing one of their favorite recipes that you and your family can enjoy this holiday season. Hello, I'm Captain Smith. And I'm Ashley McDonald. And today you're cooking with MFRD. Today we're going to be making our favorite recipe here at the Fire Department, delicious lasagna. These ingredients will be online at www.murfreesboro.tn.gov under Cooking with MFRD. All right, Ashley, I've already boiled my noodles and drained them, and the sauce is cooking and about done, so we're ready to uh, start laying our lasagna. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, we've already got one layer of noodles in the pan. Right. Start with one layer of noodles as your base, and then you're going to spoon on lasagna, the sauce. You want your sauce kind of nice and thick, so you, if you don't, if you put too much liquid in it, add some more of the tomato paste because you want it pretty thick. We're going to do three layers of okay. meat, noodles, and all the cheeses. In place of ricotta cheese, I'm using cottage cheese. It's a little easier to spoon out, and you just want to put a little bit here and there. Then we're going to put some uh, shredded Romano Parmesan and Asazio cheese. And depending on how much you like Parmesan uh, is how thick you put this. I'm, I'm not big into a whole lot. I don't want it to overtake my taste. 
Okay, so we're headed to the second layer. Yeah, we're adding another layer of, layer of noodles. Gonna have another good layer of meat sauce. Now I did double this recipe so that we had enough for uh, our dinner and everybody up here tonight. So there's this is a little bit bigger pan. And some than lucky what you would firefighters. <laughs> There's another layer of meat sauce and some more cottage cheese. It's a messy dish, but it's it's worth the trouble. Messy dishes usually end up being the better dishes. Mm-hmm. All right, put some more cheese in okay. there. Okay. You need just a little more than that, I'm guessing. Yes. Okay. That looks good. Okay. Now we're going to give it a good layer of mozzarella. So it's good and gooey on the inside. One more layer of everything. Now I'd use Italian sausage and hamburger. It gives it that little bit of extra kick. That I Italian love sausage. sausage makes a difference. Top layer, I just get real generous and use all the rest of the meat sauce. Try to get all my noodles covered so that they don't dry out while they're baking. Now on my last layer, we'll do the uh, the Parmesan cheese, but I'm going to hold off on putting the um, mozzarella until after it bakes a bit. Okay. And that so way that cheese doesn't get uh, too brown. So, and on the top layer, you don't use the cottage cheese at no, all? No. Okay. All right, we're going to cover it up while we bake it, and we'll bake it about 45 minutes to an hour. And you'll let your dish set for like 15 minutes, and then you're ready to slice and eat. Okay. Well, Ashley, it's time to see how our lasagna is doing and get it out of okay. the oven. Okay. Oh, oh man, I wish you could bubbly. smell it. It smells so good. Mmm. We did good. Let's see. Could you get that hot plate pad? I sure there? can. We'll set this right down here, That's nice. and we're going to let it sit for like 15 minutes before we slice it so that it'll all stay together. Firemen love dessert. I've made Me a too. strawberry cake. Now, I don't make it from scratch. I make, I just use any kind of my favorite strawberry mix. <laughs> See how gooey that, how much cheese we have in there? Ooh! Nora, thank you for sharing both of your recipes with us today. They are both going to be available online at www.murfreesboratn.gov under Cooking with MFRD. And on behalf of Murfreesboro Fire and Rescue Department, we wish you and your family a safe and happy holiday season. Happy holidays! The leading cause of fires in the kitchen is unattended cooking. Be on alert. If you are sleepy or have consumed alcohol, don't use the stove or stovetop. If you are simmering, baking, roasting, or boiling, check it regularly, remain in the home while food is cooking, and use a timer to remind you that you are cooking. Keep anything that can catch fire, oven mitts, wooden utensils, food packaging, towels, or curtains away from your stovetop. If you have a cooking fire, just get out. When you leave, close the door behind you to help contain the fire. Keep a lid nearby when you're cooking to smother small grease fires. Smother the fire by sliding the lid over the pan and turn off the stove top. Leave the pan covered until it is completely cooled. For an oven fire, turn off the heat and keep the door closed. The National Fire Protection Association discourages the use of outdoor gas-fueled turkey fryers that immerse the turkey in hot oil. NFPA urges those who prefer fried turkey to seek out professional establishments, such as grocery stores, specialty food retailers, and restaurants for the preparation of the dish or to consider a new type of oilless turkey fryer. Linda Burt is back to tell us about some upcoming classes, trips, dances, and other programs being offered by the St. Clair Street Senior Center. Hi, I'm Linda Burt. If you're a senior in Murfreesboro, we'd love for you to come and check out the St. Clair Street Senior Center. There's always something happening at St. Clair, all with you in mind. Here are just some of the activities we have coming up. November the 27th at 1 o'clock is Cooking with Carol. Carol will be cooking up holiday treats and showing you how to cook healthy for the holidays. You must be signed up for this class. 
November 30th at 4.30, the seniors leave for Opryland Hotel. Get in the spirit of the season by taking a walk through Opryland Hotel with all the beautiful lights and great restaurants. December the 3rd at 8.30 is sign up day at the Senior Center. This is your first opportunity to sign up for the new classes and trips. If the classes or trips are full, be sure and put your name on the waiting list in case someone cancels and we can call you to fill the vacancy. We will be signing up for the trip to Colorado and the Rocky Mountains for May 18th through the 26th. December 3rd at 1.30 is the new basic computer class. If you have never had any experience with computing, this class is for you. In six sessions, instructor Terry Zumbro will give you a basic knowledge of computing. December the 5th at 11 o'clock is Ask the Doctor. Dr. Saxena will speak about heart health and calcium scoring. December the 5th at 1 o'clock is Ceramics with Joanne for making those great Christmas gifts from the heart. December the 7th is the Winter Holiday Dance. Come and enjoy the music of the Sax and Sounds Band for listening and for dancing. The doors open at 6.30. December the 10th at 12.30, the Singing Seniors will present their Christmas concert. Please join the singers at the Senior Center for some great Christmas music to bring in the holiday spirit and a time of refreshments after the concert. December the 10th at 1 o'clock is Crafts with Marlene who will show the class how to make an outdoor snowman. The Parks and Recreation Department will provide the forms and paint to make snowmen to put in your yard. We'd love for you to come and be a part of what's going on at St. Clair Street Senior Center. If you'd like to join us and sign up for classes, trips, and events, we're located at 325 St. Clair Street. And for more information, you can call us at 848-2550 or visit us on the web at www.murfreesborotn.gov. Come and join us. In order to honor friends of the City of Murfreesboro on Facebook, we present City TV's Facebook Friend of the Week. This week, it's Chad and Janelle Gerke. You too can be our Facebook Friend of the Week by liking us after you type in City of Murfreesboro on the Facebook website, or you can click on the Facebook link on the City's website at www.murfreesborotn.gov. In other news, Joey Smith, director of the Murfreesboro Solid Waste Department, wants to inform you about the garbage pickup schedule around the holidays. You know, the holiday schedule that the uh, uh, City of Murfreesboro Solid Waste Department runs um, is sometimes a little bit different than uh, other cities. If we happen to have a holiday that falls on a Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday, Christmas this year is on Tuesday, we'll be running normal schedule on uh, Monday, Christmas Eve will be a normal day. Christmas will be observing that day. Then Tuesdays will be picked up on Wednesday. And then we'll be running Thursdays and Friday normal schedule. The exact same way with uh, New Year's Day. New Year's Eve will be running normal schedule. Tuesday will be moved to Wednesday. And then we'll be back running normal schedule again. If you're going to place your uh, Christmas tree out at the curb after the Christmas season, we ask that it be free of tinsel, no ornaments or lights. We just mulch the Christmas tree itself, not the two by fours with the nails. Just place it out the curb. Do not place it in a plastic bag or anything. Just place it out the curb, but not in the street, because if you place it in the street, it becomes a road hazard. So be mindful of your neighbors. A lot of people have got family in, or they just you know, it's not the most important thing is to get the garbage out, even though they want the garbage picked up. Just put it out the night before. As always, our goal here at Murfreesboro City TV is to provide you with local city information 24 hours a day. So if you want to find out what's happening right here in your town, pick up a copy of our program schedule at the Comcast Murfreesboro office, the Lineball Public Library, St. Clair Street Senior Center, or the city's website at murfreesborotn.gov. If you'd like a copy via email, just send the request to citytv at murfreesborotn.gov. Remember, on the city's website, you have city programs and meetings right at your fingertips. And the City TV channel is streaming live 24 hours a day at www.murfreesborotn.gov. In addition, please visit us on YouTube as we offer a wide variety of programming just for you. Until next time, I'm your host, Fadia Patterson, and we'll see you soon in the city.